I've already shown you how to create modules in another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make it so the user can close it just by clicking outside of it. By the way, before you get started, if you're here, I'm sure you want to become a programmer. And yes, here on YouTube, you can learn a lot. But one of the best ways to actually improve, especially if you want to turn this into a career, is to take some courses made by experts in the field. Usually these courses are structured in a way that makes it easier for you to learn properly and I've selected for you some of the best courses and learning platforms. You'll find the links in the description down below and by using those links you're gonna help this channel as well. So I'm using the same code as the one I used in another video where I explain you how to use the dialogue element to create the module. So leave this open and go and watch it. I'll leave the link in the description box down below and in the cards up above and then when you've watched it come back here. Okay, so how can we make it so that when we click outside the module and actually, let's actually do this, when we click here, outside of here, the module is actually closed. How can we do that? Let's see first one thing. Okay, so let's open the developer tools like this. Okay, so if we go here, as you can see, the dialog covers the whole screen with the margin. So this is the dialog and the actual yellow thing around is the margin of the dialog. Okay, so it covers the whole screen. So wherever we click, okay, whether we click here, 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 etc., we actually are clicking on the dialogue. And this is a good thing because we can add event listener to the dialogue element and close the dialogue when we click on it. Okay, so let's do that first and then see why it doesn't actually work as expected. So let's go back to, let's actually close this. Let's go back here. Okay. So, first of all, as we're going to use the dialog element more than once, we can actually add up here and do something like const dialog element, okay, something like that, document, quick selector, dialog, okay, so that I don't actually have to write document, query selector, etc., etc. So we can change that here. You can do something like that, and then we can do something like that. And that's the same thing. Then here we can do something like this. So dialog element, event listener, click, then like that, dialog element, close. And this means that when we click on the dialog element, the dialog is actually closed. So let's try. If you click here, that's fine, it works. But also, it works even if we click inside of this modal, right? If you click here, the dialog is closed, but it doesn't make sense, right? It's not what we want. We actually want to close the dialog when we click outside, not inside of the dialog. So we need a way to actually understand if you're clicking outside or inside. And as I said, let's go back to our developer tools. As I said, this dialogue covers the whole thing. Here you've got dialogue because you've got the margin of the dialogue and here you've got the dialogue inside the dialogue, right? But still the whole screen is covered by the dialogue. So how can we actually understand if we're clicking inside or, or outside? Because wherever we click, we actually click on the dialogue. And that's actually where the events target property comes into play. And let's see what we can do with it. So here, instead of actually having just dialogue close, let's actually target the target property. So of course here you need to add the event, which is passed automatically by JavaScript. Then we're going to log the event target like this. The target property is basically the element where the click happens. So if the mouse is over a specific element, that is the target, okay? By the way, if you like this channel and you want to support it and you want to actually help me keep making videos like this, you can do that by becoming a member of my Patreon where you can also get exclusive perks. I'll leave the link in the description for those of you who are interested. So let's actually see that. So if you click here, outside you're clicking on the dialog, as you can see, the margin. If you click here, you're clicking on the module container because the module container is a child of the dialogue, so it is sort of on top of the dialogue. And then if you click here, you click, you target the paragraph. So basically the paragraph is on top of the module container and the module container is on top of the dialogue. Okay, so if you click here, you're not clicking on the dialogue, but you're clicking on the paragraph. 
the first target is the paragraph. Here, the first target is the modal container. Here, the dialog. All right. So let's actually close this. And now you might be wondering why does this event get triggered even when you actually click on the modal container? So if we do something like, if we bring back the close like that, and then we open this and we click. So now we click on the dialog and we get dialog. And that's fine because we're actually targeting the dialog element with the event listener. But if we do something like this, we're targeting the modal container. So why does the modal close? Because if you think about it, you're not actually clicking directly on the dialog element, which is the one with the event listener, but we're actually targeting directly the modal container. And if you're clicking on the paragraph, we're targeting the paragraph, not the dialog element, right? And this is due to event bubbling or propagation, which means that if you click on a child of one element, the click goes up and up and up parent by parent until it reaches the body, which means that in this case, when we click, it's like clicking on the div itself. So if we click here, it's like clicking on the div, the modal container, but then the click propagates. Let's actually use the inspector so you can see that better, all right? So when you click here, you're clicking on this, but then the click propagates and goes up and it sort of clicks the parent and then it goes up and it clicks the main container and then it goes up and it clicks the body, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So that's why even when you click on the modal container, the click still reaches the dialog and the event is triggered and the actual dialog element is closed. So if we had the event listener on the, let's say, main container, this would have been triggered anyway, because the click happens on the modal container, then it goes up to dialog and the main container, and then this gets triggered. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel as well. So now that we know that, it's quite easy, right? We can actually just close the modal only if our target is the dialog itself, okay? Because if we click inside the modal, the target is either the modal container or the paragraph in this case. And if you click outside, our target is the dialog element. So let's go back here. So console, okay, so as I said, if we click here, it's dialog, but if we click here, it's modal container, okay? So now we know that when our target is the dialog itself, we're clicking outside. When our target is something other than the dialog itself, it means that we're actually clicking something else inside the dialog. So here, the modal container, or here, the paragraph, and so on and so forth, okay? I hope that makes sense. So. How can we actually do that? That's really, really easy. Let's actually do this. So we need to do something like if event target is equal to dialog element, then I'm going to close the dialog element. If not, we're not gonna do anything, right? Because we know that we're clicking inside of the modal where we have a modal container that covers the whole thing. So we are sure that when we click inside the container, inside the modal, we are always getting something other than the dialog. When we click outside, we know for sure that we're clicking on the dialog because we are actually clicking on the margin of the dialog itself. So I hope that makes sense. I know that I've been repeating things over and over, but I just want to make sure that you actually understand what I'm doing, understand what's going on. I don't want you to just copy and paste things. So that's why I've repeated things. I'm sorry if you got it the first time, but I know a lot of people actually find it difficult to understand certain concepts. So I'd rather repeat things so that everyone can actually understand them. All right. So now we've got everything in place. So let's actually try to see if that works as expected. So if you click inside, nothing happens. If you click on the X up here, of course, the modal is closed. But if we click outside, same thing, the modal is closed. As you can see here, nothing, nothing, nothing here the module is closed. If you're still watching and you want to learn more about web development, watch the video you see on the screen right now. And don't forget to check out my Patreon and also like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.